Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the quality switch node. So let me go ahead and show you this quick little example. This is going to be pretty apparent on how it works, and then we're going to cover how it actually works. So right now you can see this material, and this is in my high quality settings. If I'm to switch over to my low material quality settings, which is under settings, material quality, low, you're going to see a dramatic change. For our example, I went ahead and went with something dramatic so I can show you how it works. And so you, you can easily see that it is working. We have this giant bright blue texture now. So let's see how this works and then what we'd use it for. So this is our material quality switch. The material quality can be adjusted through the normal quality settings inside of the engine if you're adjusting them all at once or you can use a console command and in the future a node to change the actual quality between low medium and high and of course you may want to do this depending on the platform or this is one of those things that you're going to put into your settings screen to allow your players to adjust it based on the performance that they want out of the game itself and their computer so how does it work well, it's pretty simple. You have the quality switch node. You have four inputs at this time and one output. Whatever's in default will be displayed if you either have nothing plugged in or nothing plugged in. If you have something plugged in to one of the inputs, for example, I have this blue color in low, that is what's going to be output when you have low selected. So for our example, when I had high selected, nothing's in high, so my default was shown. When I selected low, it did not display this, it displayed the blue instead. Now the reason why you can still see the brick texture is because I have a normal map being shown at all times. So let's go ahead and unhook the blue and let me show you an example of when you may use this for your actual game itself. So here's our texture itself. We're in low right now. As you can see we have a brick texture. It looks like a brick but there is no reflectivity there is no valid roughness i'm showing a completely rough surface in here on low i'm out inputting a one for my roughness therefore we're not using this texture we're not using the texture sampler and we're not using any memory for the texture itself so we're going to have better performance now if your player for example wanted it on high if we switch this over to high, it's going to redo the shader and we're going to see the effect of high. It's going to instead use this for our roughness. And when we look at it here, you can actually see your slightly rough because I'm using a mask. You can see our parts where we have roughness in our chipped way parts and we have glossiness in our non chipped way parts. You can see the sun reflecting off properly. So, that is how the quality switch works. Now inside the editor, you adjust it from here, settings, material quality, and then you can change it. But if you actually want to change it in game, you can change it using this console command. The R dot material quality level space, and then the level you want to set it to, where you have zero, one, two, and three. So for example, if I hook this up, and we go ahead and run, we're going to see our normal, actually, what I need to do is switch this back to blue so we can see it easier. We'll go ahead and apply this. This is why I had it set up to blue so it would make it easier when we ran it. So as you can see, we have our normal texture. You can see a little bit of reflectivity, and this is running on high. If we change our material quality level to zero, for example, and hit play, it needs to recompile. and then we're gonna see our low texture. So there you go. So if you have these settings hooked up in your player setting menu, you could easily allow them to change between the low setting, which will give them better performance, and then maybe your medium high setting. And it's gonna show the different texture appropriately. And keep in mind that material switch can be used for anything. It takes an input and an output, so this doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, I used it in here for the roughness, you could use it for the actual texture itself. Maybe you do a higher quality 
blend and you only want it to be on the high ones. Maybe you have tessellation only working at a higher level based on the settings. It's up to you. This is not identical to the feature level switch. The feature level is based on the support in the graphics card. This is the quality level switch, which is basically 100% customizable by you. And it allows you to determine what is shown at each quality level. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.